Yeah, good old fashioned racism. <laughs> I think we're gonna let him do the cutscenes from now on because that was awesome. <laughs> Alright, so this is the bridge. And this is the first element of throwing people off the bridge. And uh, as you'll see here, he screws up and uh, the bridge breaks in random places and he's gonna fall to his death. You can see where it's cracking there on the bottom right. Wait for it, wait for it, and bridge break, he's dead. Fell right to his death. Make sure you watch for that. Don't stay on the bottom part of this bridge. You'll get screwed, but he picks up a newsie, which is cool, but eh, kind of useful a little bit. And I'm doing my best to try and kick people off the bridge like right there and right there. I don't know, I'm a big fan of environmental damage in this game, throwing people off bridges, there's a big elevator scene in scene 7 where we toss a bunch of people off the elevator, and it's all good, wholesome, people dying to death fun. And he screws up a bit and falls off the bridge a few times, but it's at least amusing for you. And that's what matters, YouTube. I mean, you can watch us fumble through Street Rage remake and be like, hey, these guys are stupid, but they're amusing. And as long as we're amusing, it'll keep you coming back. And as long as you're coming back, everybody wins. So many suplexes, can't even tell you. And, uh, you can kind of see the one star below my, uh, five lives there. Uh, apparently you can get up to three stars if you kick a lot of ass without dying, but that never happens. And we never break one for this entire run through, but it's apparently possible, I guess. Keep that in mind for the future. If you're really good at Streets of Rage and you're watching me to laugh at my failure and humiliation, like, they go, oh, H.J., I get to three stars all the time, herp derp. I'm like, well, good for you, but I don't. And I broke 125,000 points, so I get a lot, I get a life, and I'm at six now. And I've never been able to find a use for pepper spray, but he might be able to. Oh, 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 uh, I wanted to throw him off the bridge. Throw him off the bridge, come on, come on. Get off of the bus. <laughs> I'll put right in the hole. Sit down, sir. Problem with the bridge, though, is that it can backfire on you. And uh, you'll see that come into play really soon, like. Really soon, like. My god. Right there. I accidentally threw him into him, and I knocked him off the bridge. Yep. So, this is a good time to mention, hey, if you throw an enemy into your opponent, they can still get hit. It doesn't matter what they're doing, they could be standing next to the bridge and they'll fall off, they could be holding a weapon and they'll drop the weapon, but if you throw an enemy into your partner, they will get hit, even with friendly fire on. I thought that was retarded when it happened, and uh, I'm sorry that I killed you there, bro, but it happened. <laughs> I can't really, can't really explain it, but... <laughs> I'm sorry I knocked you off your bridge to your death, but, but shit happens, you just gotta deal with it. Off the bridge. Random knife, man, sucks. Sucks ass. But, uh... You know, the bridge scene has definitely gone a lot worse for us before. And I got knifed across the map there. Suplexes, suplexes. I'm trying to get that bat, but, uh... Hopefully I can do that without dying. And you can see our random, uh... What the fuck is his name? Bottle Farka? I, I, I don't know how to... Whatever, I've got a bat, it doesn't matter. He's dead anyway, who cares? I have no idea what the hell that guy's name was. See, he's got the bat, and uh, he's also up two lives from me almost entirely. So, my key strategy here is avoid shit, throw bastards off the bridge, oh look at that, free life. Grab that, and there goes another some bitch. Twofer. Two off the bridge, keep going, try not to fall. Cause you know, I have the tendency to do that. It's kind of unfortunate, but you know, what can you do other than, you know, fall off the bridge? Uh, there is always the suplex. See, I was very careful there, cause see, what I could have done, is I could have gone for the suplex. But, uh, keep in mind if I would have jumped over his head to go behind him, I'd have fallen off the bridge. That guy got the absolute best of me. Screwed me up bad, threw me straight off the bridge. That guy played the game like I played the game, and I can't even be mad about him getting me because, quite frankly, that's like me playing this thing. So as you can see, I kind of have him on the lead right now because my health's almost gone. We want to save my life and my special for when it's time. 
So by having him lead with the beer bottle there, we can hopefully save my life and my special for when it matters most in the mini boss at the end. So there's some strategy involved here, and you'll see us do this more than once. Well, because it makes sense. Like, why would I risk myself to die when I can send him in who's got clearly more health? And I end up dying anyway, so it doesn't even matter. But, uh, had that worked, I could have made it to the mini-boss, and I would have been okay. And I believe I get screwed here, because I believe there's health right up here, too. That generally tends to happen when I try and preserve things. We'll get health right after. And sure enough, look at that, a full beef health. The full health, like... That screwed us more than twice in this game. And I'm grandpa on people left and right. Your grandpa punch! These things just amuse me. I don't know. Run dash, double tap right, hit the attack button. Oh, uh, fucking turtles. And sit down. Oh, but I throw him into him so he gets hurt a little bit. And we get some more beef. I think he takes that one because he's a little bit uh, lower than me. Yep, sure enough. I think it's mini boss time. Oh, maybe not. I remember saying that when we were playing through this, too. This commentary is recorded after, because uh, the microphone isn't good enough to pick us up both without passing headset back and forth. So, we're using a uh, Radio Shack microphone, converting it to 8th inch, and recording it on the desktop to make it work a little bit better. So, hopefully, it sounds decent enough. And I can't talk bad about my company, because they're trying to come fire me, because that's how our... Uh, technology policy works. I can't talk shit about it on my Facebook, and God forbid they check out my YouTube videos, I'll be ready. So, these are the fire breathers, and the fire breathers, big pain in the ass. They breathe fire, and it hurts. A lot. You can't suplex them, because they're so fat. Front grapple works, but you can only beat them a couple times, and eventually they kick you off. Don't try and throw them at all, because you'll hurt your back, and they'll hurt you a bit. And they'll get up and breathe fire on you, so you kind of have to slow combo them. Kind of like that. Uh, doing your running attack works. I try and grab him a few times, but as you can see, suplexing doesn't work, and they try to jump dive at you, which hurts a bit too. So the first one's gone, and uh, FC does a nice job of uh, doing some jump kicks and keeping them away. And I don't think we end up dying here, but I could be wrong. I'm wrong a lot. I go for Miss Grandpa there, and you can see him get lit on fire. And uh, I think I actually get him here. Yep, right there. So close to dying. They saved us five lives. Our health goes back up at the end, beginning of the next round. We get more specials. So that wasn't a bad boss fight, believe it or not, because we normally don't do as well against those guys. So cutscene time. The bridges are clear. Let's go. Oh, select the route. So uh, that was a fast cutscene. Uh, this left and a right. The left will actually take us to stage 5, the ship, which is the correct path for Streets of Rage 1. And we're going for a full Streets of Rage 1 run through, so we're going to the ship. And you can see our sword in the top right there. She comes into play a lot, she's a good weapon, but unfortunately I screwed up, and we don't get to keep her as long as we could. And so many grandpas you can't even count. If there were this many grandpas around years ago, I'd be having a whole lot of slave children. Farm my fields. I don't know. Random racism at 2 in the morning. Don't worry about it. Doesn't make sense. It doesn't have to make sense, alright? I'm beating people with a sword. I don't care. I don't give a fuck. Sit down, Garcias. Sit down. Take your knives out of here. I got a big knife. Ugh. Deal with it. It's, it's nice to see someone else do some suplexing and some slashing and whatnot. Like, I, I got the little knife, and I try not to lose it there, but the thing is, in Streets of Rage 2 and 3, they updated the knife so that in order to throw it, if you held a direction and hit the attack button, you threw the knife. The problem being, suplex, that in Streets of Rage 1, it was random. You didn't actually get a choice with the knife. Half the time, you'd swing it forward and stab someone. So if someone's across the map, you could swing forward and not throw it. But if someone's halfway across the map, you could, you know, hit the button and throw it, and they're not on the right area, and it's just gone. Suplex. But, you know, oh, the, the bat and sword combo has got to be the only combo better than the pipe and bat combo. I mean, I, I, just so much just beat down right here 
I suppose technically a sword and pipe combo would be better than the bat and sword combo, but the fact of the matter is, they they just don't have a damn chance. And uh, oh yeah, let's let's not forget the random kickboxers that come in here, all named after birds. You got the eagle, you got the raven. Uh, anyone who's a fan of Frisky Dingo can think of so many jokes for Eagle, but uh, he's dead, so let's move on. Continuing down on the boat, we run into some more kinky bitches in black and red. The black ones, I guess, are Stiletto. The red ones are Nora. These are some weird, random-ass names, I'll tell you what. And there are so many of them. you think there'd be, like, hooker convention on this boat or something. Like, seriously. You got any albino hookers? Yeah, send her up too. So, uh, yeah, Frisky Dingo. If you're a fan, you'll get that. And, uh, we can see the beef there. So we split that 50 50. There should be another one for me here, and there is. I tend to like to do that. And the random purple or blue turtles are roaches, which doesn't even make sense at all. And so much bad rape. I mean, you can see why we cherish these weapons so much. They work so damn well. I mean, left and right, he's been batting people like you can't believe. The home run back from Smash Brothers, it's kind of like that. Bring like, the sound effect up, the bring! <laughs> so good. And, uh, ninjas show up, and I grandpa him. Seriously, there's gotta be a, a different name for that. I can't just keep saying grandpa him, it just doesn't seem right. And one of the brown ninjas shows up. <laughs> But it's just funny if you think about brown ninjas. I'm not racist, I swear. And uh, he drops his watch, which is ironic, because the brown ninja dropped the watch. Again, not racist, just, just funny. It's not racist if it's, uh, if it's funny, right? I saw a black comedian over the weekend. Hilarious. It's not racist if it's true, there you go. So black people like fried chicken. I like fried chicken too. I'm uh, half Polish, alright? doesn't mean I'm racist, it means I like chicken. You went up for chicken tonight before playing this game, alright? Suplex. And I got the bat, and I think this is probably one of my worst bats ever. And oh! Hercules came back as a mini-boss special, but he gets batted for his troubles. He gets batted so almost... Oh yeah, I remember. This... <laughs> So almost hard, he glitches out a bit, and I keep trying to hit him, but he keeps dodging me, so... Eventually, uh, he gets kicked in the back. And we derp around again, and I just keep missing him. Because I try and move down and get him, and he keeps moving down to avoid me. Yeah. I'm trying to bat him away, but, uh... He gets beat down a little bit, I think I end up, uh, batting him to finish, but I'm not 100% sure. Kinda, sorta, maybe. Suplex. Yeah, deal with my suplex, bud. Deal with it. And... Aww. Uh, punched? Yeah. Oh, I don't know. Right there. Grandpa. -ed. There we go. But that's not the mini-boss. That was just the random mini-mini-boss. Since there was only one of them.